Hi everybody, this is Women Simon. I am the creator of LA Live, the show. Today we have a great show on in store for you. Our host today is Melanie A.K. and Melanie Madden. And we also have uh, Jimmy Jean-Louis, we have Josh Emerson, we have uh, Massey Ferlin, Bert. So today is going to be a great show. We have uh, um, different magazine people who come out to support the show. So let's just uh, go ahead and start the show. And uh, so we also have Jimmy Jean-Louis. Am I saying this correctly? Jimmy Jean-Louis. Oh my goodness, just, I just want to listen to him talk. <laughs> just say it again. Jimmy Jean-Louis. I love the accent. Thank Welcome, you. Jimmy. <laughs> Thank you for hey, being what's up? here. <laughs> so tell me a little bit, I mean, we know you've got this amazing past with Heroes, and yes. uh, there might be a little rumor that something's coming back. Well, actually, it's not a rumor anymore, because it's out there. There's Heroes oh. Reborn, so um, it's coming back in 2004. Uh, 15 next year nice but nobody knows what's going on <laughs> so Who's you don't know either nobody knows okay. no. <laughs> <laughs> it's You're been like that with heroes anyway but now with reborn we don't know what character will come back if any will I'm, I'm sure some will come back but I think they're gonna be bringing a bunch of new characters as well so, nice. so you know it's exciting to to have heroes back absolutely yeah. some things are less but are, are best left kept a secret. Exactly, <laughs> yes. Well, it, yeah, it'll be a nice surprise when it happens since yeah. we're all in the dark right now. Mm -hmm, completely. <laughs> Let's keep it so, like that. So what else is going on? Tell me what the what, what your world looks like right now. Uh, been a few things. I've been working on a few projects, movies mainly, but also a TV show that I shot in, uh, in Paris. And somehow it was bought by NBC. Well, that doesn't Sci -fi. make anybody mad. Yeah, it's coming out in <laughs> April. You know, it actually, yeah, thanks. Uh, it, uh, it, it joined me once again with, uh, with the sci-fi world. Uh, it's called Heavy Metal Chronicles in English, but it's Metal Hurlant Chronicles in French. Should but we just change and do this whole interview in French? Ah, si tu veux, y a pas de problème. Mais oui, oui uh, parlez-vous français, toi. Mm, bien sûr. <laughs> <laughs> you want the sound of that? <laughs> si comme ça. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's my limit. So, um, and are you married? Like, tell me a little bit about you. Like, yes, I am. As much as you want to share. Yeah, do yeah. you have any beautiful babies? I do, I have a few. And do they yeah. speak French too? They do, that's they so do. Hot. Funny enough, I was in a... <laughs> No, yeah, after, after Heroes, I decided to just take a little break and I went back to, to Europe. So I spent uh, the past couple of years in Paris. Oh so God, all my lovely. kids speak French and uh, now I'm back, back in L.A. Aw, so you moved everybody back. I moved everybody back, Aww, yeah. Aw, yeah. and how many are in the family? Uh, three kids and wife. Wow, congratulations. Thank you. All right, well, it sounds good. Anything else that you want to share or...? Uh, well, what else? Uh, I'm still... Um, I'm still working with uh, with Haiti, with my non-profit organization, you know. I have Hollywood Unites for Haiti, uh, which is uh, something that I've created in 2008. And obviously after the earthquake that happened in 2010, there was a lot to do. Uh, we've been very active, very, very present uh, in the country. And uh, one of the projects that uh, we've done was to build a school uh, about three years ago, and we give free education and also free meals to the kids, it's and beautiful. that's ongoing. So it's always difficult to <coughs> keep yes. uh, any nonprofit going and any uh, any project where you have to constantly uh, generate it's a money. Full-time job. Yeah, yeah, right. it's full-time yeah. job. So you know, I think I do more on that side than I do as an actor, that's, but it's okay because you know it's um, it's part of life and uh, being Haitian. Yeah. I grew up in Haiti for a few years, so I know exactly what most of those kids go through. So it was just normal for me to, to try to do as much as I can. Well, that speaks volumes of your character. And sorry to interrupt you, Ramon. Yeah. I was just going to throw it to you, actually, yeah. and say, you know, when I met Ramon, I was blown away by the amount of work and, and efforts that he goes, goes to with charity for Haiti. And I didn't realize that, that you were a part of that as well. It's really commendable. I have three doctors. Adopted cousins from Haiti when I was four. Oh, really? Aww. Wow. Yeah. All these Haitian connections. Haitian connection. You know, one thing I always, I always, you know, like to, you know, to tell Jimmy, he's one of the guy in Hollywood, one of the Haitian 
uh, celebrity in Hollywood that I always look up to. You know, he's he really make us proud from, you know, uh, this guy's done so many movies in Haiti and, you know, um, and to come here into um, the United States and continue and doing the same thing mm -hmm. and, make, you know, making Haitian proud. I know a lot of my Haitian um, people are listening. So Jimmy Jean Louis in the house, you Aww. know, continue <laughs> to making us, you know, proud. Thank you, thank you. I was not going to cry. Yeah. <laughs> and I, you know, so, so calm, cool, and collected how he speaks and so humble, doesn't mention anything about it. I'm like, my yes. goodness. Exactly. Oh, Jimmy, by the way, uh, I know you just, uh, you have a movie coming out uh, that just came out. Um, I went to the premiere uh, called uh, What Happened in Vegas. Stays oh, yeah, that's it. true. Uh, it's yes. called One Night in Vegas. Uh, one night oh, in yeah, Vegas. It, it <laughs> yeah. yeah, remember that one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, busy guy. We understand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's 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 coming so what's out it about? soon. Yeah, it's it's about you know a couple that uh, they're having trouble and they they think that they should you know by going to Vegas they're gonna have a little break and have time to be with each other. But obviously, when you go to Vegas, you know, you're on the brink. Exactly. <laughs> so, so a lot of things happen there. But unfortunately, what happened in Vegas don't always stay in Vegas. So, no, you know, some things back don't. Home. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> is it comical? Like, is it a funny film? Um, is there is a little bit of comedy in it, but it's also a drama. Okay. Yeah, yeah, a bit of both. Well, yeah. I'm I'm gonna look out for that. It's I think that sounds entertaining. Yes, yes, definitely. <laughs> but but my the project that I have in my heart that I shot mm -hmm. in in France is uh, is a movie called Toussaint Louverture, which is a biopic about um, the man that gave uh, Haiti its independence. Haiti being the first Black Republic to fight and win the independence back in 1804. Wow. So it's a period piece, you know, where I have to ride a horse, you know sword fighting and all those things but so the budget's uh, going to be ridiculous the, the, it's shot already it's finished oh. uh, but it's just a, it, it's a it's a french movie that uh, that is looking for for american distribution okay so it's a done deal it's just that it's not Congrats. here yet yeah thank you so, so you just maybe gotta get one, it out there yeah we so if you're listening out, yeah. and you're in distribution then you should definitely contact him e because exactly. it sounds pretty important the story is <laughs> yeah or just just mm -hmm. google the movie and then it will take you to the distributors and in france yeah have you done any festivals with it because that's really a great yeah, yeah, way yeah, to yeah. highlight done, uh, you know s especially pieces like this that are passion projects you yeah know? we've done festivals uh in many parts in the world uh, including uh, here at the Pan-African Film Festival, for example, and in New York, and we won many prizes as well. Uh, but uh, but we just don't have a proper distribution here because, first of all, it's a period piece. Mm -hmm. Second of all, it's French-speaking with English, sub English subtitle. And third of all, uh, it's a black hero. So... And that's wrong. Why? It's it's three. <laughs> well, it, I'm not saying it's wrong. But I'm you're just like, but I'm just this saying and this it. And this. Like those are great it's things. It's not commercial. Yeah. You know, so most of the distributors will tell you that you know they're not gonna make money out of that. Oh, so that's I why see. I'm saying it like that. Okay. But you I know, see what you're saying. yeah. Well, I hope it comes out and that you're able to yeah. distribute it. it yeah, definitely. Like I'd love people to see it. It's a great piece. Yeah. Nice. And is there like a? I guess you don't have it on a website or something. Uh, well, if they type the movie. To Saint Louverture, they'll see enough uh, clips. Okay. Web, uh, I think there, there is a website for sure. Uh, but go to my page and then you'll see clips. JimmyJeanLouis.com. There you go. Yeah. Perfect. That's easier. Yeah, Check yeah. Check it out, everybody. Yeah. And then you'll see it. Yeah, one thing, once like you that. Google his name, first thing that come up is this movie and pictures of him playing the hero, so... Right on. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. With that accent, I'll watch anything. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jimmy, for joining <laughs> us. Thank you, darling. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Tom, be still. My